Cristano to serve. He's 6'1", 165 pounds, makes his home in the Los Angeles area, Brentwood, California. Won a little over $100,000 on the tour last year. 15. Won uh, nearly 21,000 this year, and a win today would almost equal that. Attended Stanford two years, was an All America in '85. One of many Stanford players to succeed in the pro game. Oh. Woo! Court. Percy Long. Estanio has a couple of uh, buses, Volkswagen buses. He keeps one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast. So when he's playing on the tour in the States, he just uh, motors from one tournament to another. It says it helps to express his freedom. likes to live at his own speed. <laughs> Connors, uh, who lived at a five-gear speed, five <laughs> sets during the Grand Slam tournament, says that one of the things that has made him a different player is he realizes he can't go in fifth gear all the time, that he has to pace himself within a match and save something for the big points. He almost waited too long last year against Michael Pernfors in a classic match. What a match that was, down 6-1, 6-1, 4-1, and winning it in the fifth. And going all the way to the semifinals, he was running on empty by that time, and Patrick Cash went through him. Smart body. 40-15. Stanio, not really in good position for that volley. He's a little slow in following his set, his serve to the net. Forty thirty. New hairstyle for Connors. That's the uh, popular Wimble perm, isn't it? Yeah, you might be right. Game, Game to Rastagno. It's one all. They talk about the one game outstanding players produced by Stanford or well, UCLA the same. And one of those, Jimmy Connors, Herbie Flam, Arthur Ashe, who won here in 75, Charlie Passarell. Connors, Peter Fleming, doubles partner of McEnroe, and now his coach, Elliot Telcher, Jim Pugh, involved in this tournament. In Stanford, McEnroe, Rastagno, Roscoe Tanner, the Mayors, Grab, Davis, Goldie, McEnroe. Love 15. Some of those UCLA players, like Arthur Ashe, were coached by J.D. Morgan, and then Glenn Bassett, and all the Stanfords by Dick Fifteen all.
for the match to 40 15. 40 15. Game to Game the counters. 2 1, opening set. The winner of this counters. Rostanio match will meet Cunin, Patrick Cunin of West Germany. Straight sets, he defeated uh, Stanford's Jim Grab, 1 4 and 4 earlier today here at Wimbledon. Zivo Yinovich, Bobo, after dropping the opening set to the West German Eric Yellen, wins in four. And Wally Masur, who knocked John McEnroe out of the tournament in the second round, continued his fine play, dropped a set to Bob Seguso. Robert Seguso, the fine doubles partner of Ken Flack. Seguso out in four sets. Masur, the Australian, advances. Castaño, one, two. Love 15. The 11, our statistician, reminds us of another Stanford player. How could we open Oh, up? oh my gosh, I'm at fault. I'm at fault. Pioneer the Valley. Paragon of the Pioneer Valley, Tim Mayotte. And that just shows what's happening with Tim Mayotte in this tournament. And I like it because nobody's noticing him at all. Last year, he felt the pressure. He had a lot of picks to win it. And he had geared his whole year toward winning Wimbledon. He put too much pressure on himself. He admits that. Love, Percy. Mayotte, who is through to the fourth round, and will meet Henri Leconte, the French Open finalist, on Monday. An opening here for Connors at 1 2. Ooh, he hummed that one. 15 and 30. Stanio, a very good natured guy, went out to look at a little bit of this match against Jaime Zaga the other day. And there weren't many people there, so we were standing along the fence. And he called out to people. He sort of, I think he did recognize me, and he said, uh, gee, I hope you enjoy the match. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> Big smile. From low 30. Well, Strings have always been a part of the Rostagno clan. His father, a violinist, Los Angeles Philharmonic. In fact, his mother and father met while his father was studying music in Paris. <laughs> Rostagno concentrated on the uh, piano and drums. Derek, the tennis player. So, Rostagno bails out of love 30. It's to all. Two games on. The 
imagine Connor showing up here for the first time in 72. Back then, three of the four major championships were on grass. Australia, U.S. Open at Forest Hills, and Wimbledon. Now this is the last refuge of the grass blade. As far as the majors go. One grass court tournament left in the United States for men and women at Newport, Rhode Island in July. One five the other. Just on the line. 15 low. Connors first came here, Bud, you saw the reaction of the British to him. He was not exactly that popular, nor was he when he beat Rosewall in 74. It's almost with age that he's become adored by these British fans. Fifteen all. And he certainly helped uh, that following last year with that dramatic win on center court over Michael Pernfors. Well, he's very philosophical about it. He said, we didn't get off to a very good start together, meaning he and Wimbledon. But he said, now we're pretty good, pretty good. 1982 really is what did it, coming back for a second victory. Posey, 15. Time permits, we will also provide for you today the coverage of the Chris Everett match as she met young Japanese player Akiko Kijimuta and also a profile on Chris Everett and her husband to be Andy Mill. Most interesting, but Collins uh, having a chance to follow them not only on the tennis circuit but in the mountains of Colorado. Now, let's see if Rostano. Leaps on the second ball again. He's from a chip and charge school of thought out at Stanford. It's too good a serve. Mm, that is a fine approach by Rosano to earn a break point. So he came down the line right there, low slice, keeping the ball close to the court, and the volley was easy. First break chance for either player. Takes the lead at 3-2. Something Alex makes radio history. On center court, that match just completed. Gabriella Sabatini over Catherine Convier of France, 6-2, 6-3. So Miss Sabatini, the fifth seed, will next meet Zena Garrison. And here on court one, Derek Rostagno. Well played game to break Connors and now serves at 3-2. Up a break in the first set. Quiet, please. Thank you. Here's Pancho Segura. I just noticed him in the audience. We may zoom in on him later watching Jimmy Connors. Jimmy was one of his pupils.
Now that was known as, there's Pancho Segura, Francisco Segura. Low 15. Member of the International Tennis Hall of Fame at Newport and coach Jimmy early in his career. Pancho had a two-fisted forehand and that translated well to the right side for Jimmy's left-handed two-fisted backhand. Pancho teaching pro out of La Costa. Now, I'm sure Pancho Segura watching was very pleased because he says pros don't use the lob enough. That was a fine lob. You won't get many smashes like that. A typical Connor's courage as he fought to stay in that point. Fifteen thirty. So the lob works again. Well, Segura says that, especially at Wimbledon, he said everybody is rushing the net. They're moving forward. Pitch them backward with that lob. Throw them off balance. Pancho again. His wife Beverly. Fifteen thirty. With it, two break points. 15, so the lob has been so good to Jimmy in this game, even though his best lob probably was smashed for a winner, but he's kept it up and the ball goes into the net. Oh, what a time to come up with your first base. So two great chances for counters. Knocked away by Rostagno. <laughs> and a service winner. Advantage Rostagno. Rostagno using his serve, holds to lead at 4-2. Reminder to stay with us. David Letterman joins Marv Albert. And <laughs> that really gets our baseball game of the week off to a great start. Some of you will see the Twins and A's and others the Mets and the Cubs. That follows our Wimbledon coverage right here on NBC Sports. The home of the 88 World Series. We're talking <laughs> World Series in New York already. Fifteen 
30 long. Connors, you go. Down a break, ends with a love game. It's 4 3 with Stanio. Radio Shack puts the power of business computing in your home and saves you $300. The powerful 286 Tandy 1000. Now only $1199, including color monitor. You save $300. It's PC compatible, easy to use, comes with seven ready to run programs for the family to keep a budget. Write term papers, or even do filing and create graphics. Complete Tandy 1000 system with color monitor, only $11.99. Only at Radio Shack. Intelligent, ingenious, in a world by itself. The new Maxim Series I. <laughs> Only from the mind of Minolta. I just bought a set of Michelins. You could have saved some money on another brand. Why take chances when a Michelin's only a little more? A tire's a tire. My last set of Michelins got 60,000 miles. Tell me the truth. Didn't you buy them just for the name? Yeah. The name is... Jackie. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. On the western frontier, you can count on the cavalry to get you back on the road. Today, the Kemper Cavalry stands behind drivers. To ensure what you drive, compare Kemper. You ride with us. With three months to the lighting of the plane, the U.S. takes on China in platform competition. Diving's most disciplined event on NBC Sports World Sunday. Restaño serving 4-3. Double fall to the match. It's like starting a baseball inning with a with a walk. Connors must have induced an awful lot of double faults throughout his career because he returns so well. Makes the server try a little bit harder. Oh. 15 on.
the lob was a little short. 30-15. This is such an intimate court. I think it's everybody's favorite, as far as spectating anyway. Certainly is ours, especially when you sit on the short side to the left. With the pensioners, there's only about four or five, six rows. And you can get good sun right there. If there's ever sun. And there has been a lot this first week. Overcast at the moment. That West Stand stacks to the sky, it seems. Standing room at the top. And most of the 6,000 located on that side to your right of the picture. 30 all. Castagno tuned up for Wimbledon by going to the finals at Bristol. Played very well on the grass there, lost to the German Christian Sachano. So Connors, broken in the fifth game of this set, now has a chance to take that break back from Rostagno. He had a couple of chances back at uh, the sixth game, but couldn't convert. And we're even at four in the opening set. Patty Schoenfeld is deaf, but an IBM computer lets her talk on the phone. Art Sweet is almost blind. So after Connors broke to go four all, next three games to the server, we pick up the play. Rastagno serving at 5-6. This crowd uh, fascinated by the play of the young man from Stanford, Rostagno, but certainly in the camp of Connors, you sense they're waiting to roar for him. Oh! And Connors obliges. Jamming, sir, right into the belly button, but Jimmy responded well. Now look at this angle, and Derek was surprised, down and out of the point. Long Percy. So Connor's two points from the set. really been a weapon for Connors this entire set, the lob, no, and he earns three set points with it. Pitches it with great deception. Rostagno really has no chance. Patty Connors watching her old man.
15-40. Rustanio denying one set point. into the body. rostanio has been doing that. Three chances for the set for Connors and Rostanio answers with some solid serving. Fifty minutes now in this first set. And the fourth chance to take a set lead for Connors. of the first set, 7-5. Many financial opportunities offer protection. The unflappable nature, undaunted, he came right back to break Connors to open the second set. Connors broke back in the fourth. We pick up the action, second set. Rastanio and Connors are at four all as we go back to court one at Wimbledon. Four games over. Derek Rastagno proving to be a battler, as he was in that long, long match of nearly five hours in beating Marty Davis in the second round. Fifteen. Pretty good conversationalist. Oh boy, you can see with the wear and tear right at the, the T service T. Boy, the ball hits in there and you can't tell what it's going to do. No, it's an adventure. Any ball that hits there, it's like landing on a roulette wheel. Right in front of Connors, you can see how rough the spots, a lot of small divots. 
That's where the serve and volley guys usually make their first stop with a skid. And another point off the lob for Connors. 30 all. Castaño coming in tight and is greeted by this. His return will not even reach the net. Time after time, Jimmy's been the Sky King. Connors winning the first set 7-5, a point away from a 5-4 lead here in the second. We hear the applause over at center court where Ken Flack, the American, is playing Stefan Edberg. Edberg winning the first two sets, 6 2 7 5. Tanya a point away from a 5-4 lead. and five career titles for Connors but it's been a long long drought for him sure hasn't has I really thought we'd get him 106 last year at Lake Buena Vista Florida but Christo van Rensburg jolted him in the final so it's been almost four full years since his last title in Tokyo Turn for Rostano, and he has his second chance to break. But even though he hasn't been in the winner's circle, Connors, as he would point out very quickly, he's in the top five in the world, playing good tennis, attractive to the fans, and he's enjoying himself. Except you expect very good lobbying from Jimmy Connors. He's done it well throughout his career. chance will it be the charm for Rostanya
service came away from scoring the match at a set apiece. Back after these words from your local station. Derek Ristagno serving to square this match at a set apiece. Connors game a little soft uh, the last several games, bud. And it's a lot air. Yes, and Rosanio seems to be playing with much more inspiration at the moment. 15 months. It's marvelous the way Connors can play. <laughs> Just long. Another excellent lob. When you consider how he's gone past the mental edge as we watch Rostanio, a tight volley, and another lob. And Connors didn't come in behind it, though. No, he should have been up. 30 love. And a net board for Rostanio and three set points. fault that brings back memories of that critical double fault that ended the first set in Connor's favor two more set points This then becomes such a big point. A bad time for Rostagno to let a ball go through. Could have struck at it. And might have heard an out call, but had he put it back in play, the point might still be on. This match for the right to go to the final 16 is even at a set apiece. On the service line, Connors thought he had a winner. Umpire Richard Ings, who turns off the microphone when he addresses the player. Now yeah, Connors gets the point anyway. Low 15. We saw Wally Masur defeat John McEnroe in straight sets. Here's Derek Rostagno serving to take a two set to one lead over Connors. Rostagno is giving an exhibition of very accurate serving, not necessarily hard serving, but he's keeping Jimmy pinched with the ball very close to Jimmy's hips. 
15 all. On either side. Great return by Connors and Rostanio a fine half volley and he's half volleyed well this oh, entire yeah. match. If there's been one particular strength of Rostanio that's been it just as the lobs of Connors have been a key. Well the fifth ace for Rostanio and that sends him to two set points. 40-15. Young Derek Rostagno, age 22, against the 35-year-old Jimmy Connors. Is this the biggest professional tennis match of his life? He leads two sets to one. They stay on serve in the fourth set. We pick up the action. Rostagno serving 2-3. Rostagno sort of lingers on his trip to the net. It is not a full-blooded serve and volley that he takes. And that may be why he's been burned by the lob so many times that he is not pressing his nose to the net. Number six, 15-30. Jimmy Connors trailing. Two sets to one. Two, three in the fourth. Castagno with more double faults, but also he leads in aces about that same margin. Connors, they love to cheer. Castaño, again, way short of the service line, and he was wondering where it was going and soon found out. A point from 4 2 Connors. Jimmy's legs. As he'll show you here, he was edging to his right, but he had plenty of time to move left. 
And when I spoke of him playing so well past the psychological wow, edge, Thank you. here's what I meant. I'll wait for this point. Four or two counters. Masur beat John McEnroe, he said, I used to be in awe of him. I'm not anymore. And he said, not many of the guys are. Well, the same thing happened to Connors after a while when more people started to beat him. McEnroe seems to no longer believe in himself. Connors was like that, but Connors still does believe in himself, despite losing that heavy advantage. Well, that's four straight points of brilliance by Connors. and the fiber of the 35-year-old Connor showing those last two games. And now it's Rostanio serving to stay in the fourth. No fault, you could hear the Cyclops beep. He's had a lot of good overheads, but he's had trouble, too. He's looked at the sky a lot today on this, the 110th anniversary of the conception of the lob by P. Frank Hado, the 1878 Wimbledon winner. Buckwald uh, invented the lob, or it came out of his family. Art Buckwald claims to have invented the lob. A fellow named Leviticus Shalau in Marengo, Iowa, who grew up playing tennis in a silo, insisted that he invented the lob, but P.F. Hado gets the word from Wimbledon authorities. 1878, when he won the title. And every hacker in the world can be thankful for that. Oh, shot. I should say. 30-15. Five two in the fourth. Connor's leading. But Rostagno, two sets to one. And it's been a tougher afternoon this Saturday than Connor's had planned. Number seven, hardly lucky for Rostagno. Double fault to 30 all.
13. Oh my. Yeah, well, back hours ago, first set, Rostano double folded at set point. As Connors took the first set 7 5. Now a couple of doubles to give Connors a chance to win this set at 6 2. playgrounds. Things don't always go so beautifully. But that's okay as long as you have Visa Gold. Because we'll not only help you get a doctor or a lawyer for anything you need, we'll deliver a new Visa Gold and even emergency cash to anywhere you are. Anywhere in the world. And that's something you just don't get with American Express. Visa Gold. It's everywhere you want to be. What is electricity? What would we do without it? It would be Terrible. Then nothing was able to work. The whole world would be like blank. To get ice cream, what lots of kids like, you need a freezer. And to make a freezer work, you need electricity. Electricity. There's no substitute. We couldn't listen to any music unless someone sang it. Excellence is not something you are born with. It's something you achieve if you work hard enough and set your standards high enough. For the very best tennis players, that goal is Wimbledon. The Travelers is proud to be part of bringing you Wimbledon because to win it takes skill, commitment, dedication, the qualities of excellence we strive to achieve every business day. The Travelers, you're better off under the umbrella. With three months to the lighting of the plane, the U.S. takes on China in platform competition. Diving's most disciplined event on NBC Sports World Sunday. Welcome back to Wimbledon. Jimmy Connors apparently buoyed by the double fault gifts from his young opponent. Taking the fourth set, broke Ristagno in the fifth. And we join the action now. Derek Ristagno serving to stay in the match at 2-5. Jimmy Connors, three points from the round of 16, where he'll meet the West German Patrick Kunin. Long distance Rostano, his second straight five setter. Had to go to the 30th game of the fifth set. His last outing. Oh. Boy. 15 on. You won't see it. Off. Second serve, not returned. And against Marty Davis in that marathon fifth set, he had to break him twice in the double figure games. Finally going to 14 all and winning at 16 14 and now has a 30 15 lead in this game. 30 15. Connors the first set 7 5 then Rostagno 6 4 and 6 4. Connors taking the fourth at 6 2 and now we're at 2 5 30 15. <laughs> Ah. 
Percy Orr. who has specialized in those today. 40, 30. Jimmy Connors, as they described him in the <laughs> London newspapers, put Wimbledon to boil last year with that marvelous comeback against Michael Fernfor as one of the greatest in Wimbledon history from Quietly. two sets down and one four in the Thank third. You. And he's rallied from a set down. Nothing quite as dramatic today, but it's been a real test. Oh. Huh. Love 15. talked to McEnroe just about a year ago in Rome and he was discussing all the players and he said I he said I can't he said there used to be antagonism between me and Jimmy he said now I just don't understand him he just loves to play all the time he just loves to play he to do it and he said I, I can't figure him out after all these years it's like a drug I think not a bad life yeah <laughs> for Rostagno at low 30. Low 30. Serve has met very little in this match. They're playing on a grass court. Serve is supposed to be dominant. It has not been. But that's what keeps the game intriguing. You can't figure it. Miles we saw in that box earlier have really tightened. Oh. Off the line. I think Rostagno thought it was going to be out. Accidental hindrance, playlist. Yes, he's right. He's absolutely right. Umpire Richard Ings, who is an excellent umpire. Rostagno made some sort of noise. I don't know what he yet, but he interfered with Connors. I think Rastanya thought he'd miss hit it. The ball yeah. was going to go out, and it didn't. But in the meantime, he had made a vocal uh, so it's a let. Report. The point is replayed, and Ings was prompt to let everyone know what his call was and the reasoning in few words. Excellent. A rare and good call. <laughs> Rastanya wins the point anyway. And three chances to get himself back on serve in this film. Connors wants to play it close in, has a pretty good approach, but that's a better backhand. And that time, when he tees off on it, he uses two hands. There, he uses the one-hand slice. Oh, oh, oh. Fifteen forty. Now, we've seen it all afternoon, but it doesn't hurt to see another one. And Derek just knows. He said, well. Doesn't hurt to see another one unless you're in the camp of Rostagno. Yeah, then it breaks your neck. He's been working on that neck throughout the day, too. <laughs> it's been on a swivel going back for those lobs. Two breakers left. 
30-40. Jimmy takes the attack here. And now, Rostanio said, that lob's a real good idea. I'm going to try it. But that was a real humpbacker. So from low 40 to 30-40. In the match game for Connors. is Jimmy, but he's ready for that one. Ooh, and Rostanio again doesn't seem to be settled on whether he's going to go fully to the net or stay back in no man's land. Well, Connors wielding a big eraser. Three breakers knocked away. Advantage Connors. Did you hear that? We want to see you in the final with Boris. Hold <laughs> <laughs> out from the West Stand. Yeah, Becker may be the most popular of all of the fans here, especially the young ones. Dribble net cord. on Connors and with it the fortunate young Rostagno has his fourth Quiet chance place. to break oh thank you gracious one match point for breakers
Oh, oh. The double fault this time from Connors. And the lucky net cord to Ristagno. They're on serve again. Connors leads. So Derek Ristagno serving at 4-5. Maybe he feels a, this is a day of destiny for him after that net cord that saved him at match point. The eighth ace for Rostagno gives him a 30 love lead here at 4 5. Oh, it's been wonderful stuff here on court one this afternoon. Let's hope we have this kind of action for breakfast at Wimbledon next weekend. Women's live at 9 Eastern and men's live at 9 next Sunday. Who do you think will be in the final, Rostagno or Connor? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if they'll finish this one today. Suddenly the day wearing on. We couldn't afford a 16-14. I don't think there's enough daylight left. No, there isn't. from five all. <laughs> Big serve for Lasagno. Two sets apiece. Five all. And no tiebreaker in the fifth set. Five games old. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, quiet please. Extraordinary. When Connors quiet, comes please. back Thank you. and has a guy dead, he doesn't usually release the stranglehold. But that strange net cord kept Cristiano alive. Call or was there 15. one? Just caught the outside edge of the line. Yeah. Well, like going extra innings, and baseball will follow. Some of you will see Minnesota and Oakland, others of you the Mets and the Cubs from Wrigley Field. That's next on NBC. And before we leave the air, we'll give you all the results of today's action here at Wimbledon. And a reminder to be with us from Wimbledon tomorrow. So much to report on this first week. Some great play. Plus our feature on Chris Ebert, behind the scenes of tennis. Rallies 
Walker, if not the longest, to the match, and it ends with a ball painting the line. 30-15. I think it was the longest rally of the match, Dick. They were content on the baseline, and that ball just died. Boy, hitting the lines, that net court, maybe studied geometry at Stanford, you suppose? Uh. Maybe if he beats Connors, the Italians will reconsider. Rostagno, with his Italian father, Italian born, volunteered to play Davis Cup for Italy last year, which would be within the regulations. He was declined. <laughs> 30 all. 30 all. Five all in the fifth. And on that capricious grass on court one, where a bad bounce can jump at a player at any time. The unpredictability of the game on grass. And now each point so very important for Ostanio and Connors. Connor's going to that big sweeping serve. And it pays off with two critical points. See if he takes him wide again. The pressure on young Ristagno. He'll be serving at 5-6. Excellence is not something you are born with. It's something you achieve. If you work hard enough and set your standard. Now the weight falls on Ristagno's shoulders at 5-6.
15 on. and the lob continues to be for Connors. Tough overhead. 13. And Connors two points from the match. Tough for Rastanya to find any humor at the moment. And we take a young player the top hundred against a great veteran like Connors, usually it's the youth that tries not to lose while the veteran's playing to win. Not the case today. Rastanio has played to win. He's been the more aggressive player, Rastanio. He's taken more chances. He's forced the fight. 30 all. And with the force of action, has made more mistakes. Third deal. Point from six all in the fifth. <laughs> One of those patented Juice. Connors saves on the return of service and then getting the ball early and a cross court winner. Shadows growing longer. <laughs> the second match point for Connors. Advantage Connors. He thought he'd won it. When Rastanio got the benefit of a most Thank fortunate you. net forward. Back at 
One time it was Chris Everett and Jimmy Connors. <laughs> Jimmy Connors had his moment today. He's with Bud Collins. James Scott Connors, did you have any fun out there today? Uh, well, at least I got some good court time, Bud. I Four don't, uh... hours and two minutes. Yeah, but there's nothing to it for an old guy like me to do it like that. That was, uh, I should learn now to either do it quick, win or lose, one way or the other. But um, for some reason, I got into a, into a struggle out there today, and I did everything well except serve well. I uh, hit, returned the ball probably as well as I have in a long time. Every ball was solid and firm, and it was popping off my racket. Unfortunately, once I had the balls and was in control of the point, I, I wasn't in control. I don't know if I was rushing or throwing the ball a little bit low or, or what, but uh, in, in, in the fourth set, I kind of got a little bit of rhythm, uh, returned the ball well again and, and served fairly well, and jumped up to a lead in the fifth set again and uh, got down low 40. 5-2, you were up. Well, 5-2, his serve. 5-3, a serve for the match. Uh, and was down, uh, got down low 40 right away. Uh, got back to, to match point and hit a very, very good approach shot into the corner, and he runs over there and kind of slaps a, a forehand cross court that hits the tape and kind of rolls on one side and then falls on my side. What did you think, Ben? Can you say it? <laughs> Can I say I think my little boy's watching. I better not say that. Uh, well, it's still deuce at that time, and, and then uh, I played a fairly decent point the next point, lost a point, and then I think I served well, two Stano or three said you. He said he hopes you stay in the game forever. He doesn't want to play anymore. But he said he, <laughs> you hit shots people have never hit. Is that true? Well, if you, I don't know. I've never played against me, but I don't know. But uh, I think that um, uh, I would like to sit down and talk to him and see what he means by that. But as far as is returning the ball today, like I said, I think I returned the ball as well as I have in, in, in a long time. Uh, every ball popped off my racket. I was moving the ball around. The only thing is, is he was getting to him, and the court is, is, is rough to play on. It was so, rough. You yeah. played so beautifully. We hope to see you next weekend at breakfast. Dick Enberg? All Thank right, Bud. Congratulations to Jimmy Connors. He will next meet Patrick Cunin of West Germany, a straight set winner over Stanford's Jim Grab today. Other